Well, who would have thought after ASU struggles in 2023, where they only won three games, plenty of injuries, plenty of issues, a lot to get figured out in 2024. Well, the Sun Devils have done that so far, and they're 3-0 in non-conference play. They've beaten Wyoming, Mississippi State, an SEC program, and one of the best group of five schools in the nation on the road in Texas State. It was Sam Levitt's first road start on a short week. It had all the makings for a potential trap game, but ASU came away with the victory, 31-28. Yeah, it was super fun, you know, being in this atmosphere and in a away game. Uh, you know, just having 30,000 fans that's super rowdy and uh, being able to, you know, command the offense and uh, play with my guys who I've grinded with since day one. So, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Well, my, I just felt like defensively we just did a great job of just bending but not breaking, you know, because first half it didn't go our way, you know. It, you know, we could have just sat there, soaked up, and, you know, did bad. But second half I really feel like we did a great job of just creating energy and just really just locking in and doing what we do. Now let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's three games. We haven't seen a conference game yet, but the jump from 2023 to 2024 has been significant and it's been noticed by the players and the coaches that were here last year. And sometimes it's as simple as having health, having depth and having buy-in. And that's been a formula that's worked so far for the Sun Devils this season. I want to go undefeated this, this season. And we definitely got the team to do that. So it's just all about us. Once again, just focusing on what we got to do. It's like, like, to be honest, I don't see no team just talented, more talented than us. So I just feel like every game is it, just really just on us, our preparation, just how we execute the game plan. The relationships on this team are strong, are stronger uh, significantly. The want to on this team is stronger. I think the work that was put in, I think these guys put in a lot of work. So I say there's a difference between confidence and cockiness, right? If you're cocky, it means you just think you're gonna win. If you're confident, you put the work in. You're prepared that whatever happens, you're gonna be confident. And we wanna be a confident football team. I thought today we played confident when the game mattered the most, right? Number four, who didn't get loose all game, got loose. When the game mattered the most, Alford intercepted the ball. When the game never mattered the most, the best players in our football team made plays, and that's a sign of good football. After game one against Wyoming, Kenny Dillingham said that he didn't like the way his team played the middle eight, the last four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half. That can be a real tone setter and help really push a team to victory. Against Mississippi State, they were able to do that and they were able to dominate that. And that didn't quite shut the door against Mississippi State, but it put them in a position where they were able to hang on for that win. A similar thing happened here Thursday night against Texas State. Sam Levitt was able to connect with Jordan Tyson on a deep pass, one that has really opened up the offense for a score. The defense got a stop, and then they were able to score again right before the half. That really helped set the tone for that second half. Sun Devils able to escape with another close victory. Definitely a talking point and emphasis, but you know it doesn't mean you're always going to execute. Uh, sometimes things just fall into place, and uh, you know we're at the right place at the right time at, at those drives, and you know called the right calls. So uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that you know it's uh, everything that we train on, but sometimes you just get lucky with stuff like that. But definitely something we emphasize. Not only is this an important win for the win-loss record, but for recruiting as well. Texas is a huge footprint for the Sun Devils, and that was one that they prioritized even before they made the move to the Big 12. So to come into Texas, get a victory is huge. They have another opportunity in nine days, kicking off Big 12 conference play against Texas Tech. And this could be another statement that they could make to potential recruits in the state. Uh, you know, we recruit Texas, we recruit California, we, but Texas is definitely a footprint for us because we play games here. If you noticed, our four captains, our, our leadership council, who they voted for, they voted for the four Texas cat leaders on our leadership council to be a captain, right? And uh, I think that's the part that's pretty cool is when you get to go back home to play uh, in your home state. And I actually don't go home, I stay here, and uh, I hate the ground running. I'll be at a high school at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and uh, our staff will as well, and then I'll be two flights and then uh, get to a, another, uh, get to El Paso and rock and roll from there. Coming home, you know, we brought it. We brought it, we wanted to make sure we had people in the stands. I'm sure he had people in the stands, so we wanted to make sure we brought it. But I mean, it really doesn't matter where we play. We try to play the same brand of football no matter where we are. It really doesn't matter, so. But it was good to come home and you know, get a win and leave, get back on the plane. 
So here we are. The Sun Devils match their win total from last year, and we're still in the front half of September. They have another big opportunity to get another W in Texas against Texas Tech, opening up Big 12 play, the new Big 12 chapter for the Sun Devils just nine days from now. At Texas State, I'm Jordan Hamm, Sports 360 AZ.